John St. Augustine. Dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. There must be that one common denominator, that one thing that people, no matter who reads this book, is going to get it. And it was the Wizard of Oz. We all know that story, how Dorothy goes through all this trial and tribulation, and the witch chases her, and the munchkins help her out, and follow the yellow brick road, and all that stuff. Goes on and on and on, right? But I came to a startling conclusion. At some point in our lives, in your life and in my life, we're all Dorothy. All of us are Dorothy. Something happens to us. Something's taken away from us. We lose something. Maybe it's a divorce. Maybe somebody dies. Maybe we have to move. Maybe it's an accident or a bankruptcy or a job loss, whatever. Elmira Gulch shows up in your life a lot of ways. It's not always on a broomstick. It could be the bill collectors that never leave you alone. It could be whatever. And what does Dorothy do? She runs away. How many times have you run away? I've run away a lot. We run away thinking that it'll make it better. We run away from a relationship that was killing us and go to one just like it. You see, wherever you are, the problems show up, the challenges show up right there till you handle them. We leave a job we hate and find ourselves in one we hate even more and don't know why. We quit drinking only to start again. We quit smoking only to start again. We quit overeating only to start again because we tree run away from it and it follows us everywhere. So she runs over to Professor Marvel, who she thinks has all the answers, because he's a professor. Must be smarter than me. <laughs> what does he say? Go home. And that's the key. Go home. Maybe not your physical home. Home is you. Home is within you. Home is the sixth sense. It's the spirit. It's what guides you. That's home. To me, home is an acronym for having opened my eyes. When I've been pounded enough, I eventually get it. I work with a lot of people and I see people that just jump all over themselves over the smallest things. I had a lady who's a very prominent speaker that missed my show because she was so tired of serving that she forgot it just didn't happen. I'd, I'd like Gumby, hey, whatever happens, happens. Let's just go with the flow. And she called me so disraught, this very prominent woman. And I left her a message. They said, hey, if you really need a hammer to beat your brains in, I'll send you mine. I've used it many times. <laughs> Only one of two things happen when you're in those situations with those hammers, and you whack yourself. Either you quit hitting yourself or you die. That's it. So what did Dorothy do? She's going to see Professor Marvel. And he says, go home. So she does go home. By the time she gets there, what's wrong? There's a tornado. Everything's in an uproar. Things are going crazy. So what does she do? She runs into the house. Little did she realize that Toto long ago escaped, obviously, and came back. So the chaos that's there by running away is waiting for you. For some of us, it's waiting in the parking lot tonight. That chaos. You left it a little while alone, it'll be waiting for you. So she gets in all this turmoil and all this life review, and there's Elmira Gulch, and remember the guys in the canoe and the flying cow? and all this stuff that we review in our lives. Instead of acknowledging that we're right here, we usually go to the past and get the hammer out again and really beat on ourselves, which just serves to give you brain aneurysms in the, in the long run. And then she gets dropped off and the house, smashes on top of that wicked witch. And she finds herself in a land of Oz. And all of a sudden, the movie's not black and white anymore, it's color. Wow, what a revelation, 1938 color movie, wow. It was the, setting the standard. She finds herself in a place she's never been before. If you have the courage to ride out that tornado, you will find yourself in a place you've never been before. So what? It's going to happen anyway. And she smashes the witch. And then Elmira, which is like, just like, the, I find it amazing, Elmira West Witch, same person, right? Comes flying in and, you know, I'll get you my pretty and give me those shoes and that whole deal. There are people, you know anybody like that in your life? I'll get you for that maybe intimately, don't even try it, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. I like when they pick on the little dogs. Shows a lot of courage on their part. So the, the, our words will follow that stuff. 
And then in her fear, what happens? Glenda comes along. Remember the good witch? She comes flying in this bubble and says, Be gone with you. You have no power here. Because she's not even in Glenda's reality. Get lost. Take a hike. Take a powder. Pound sand somewhere else. And the witch leaves. Then all the munchkins come out. Remember the mayor? I'm the mayor of munchkin land. All those little helpers come out once that negativity leaves. When you're working on things in your life, you could spend your time focusing on Elmira job loss or Elmira divorce or Elmira substance abuse or Elmira whatever, which is bring you more of the same, keep giving it that power, or you could focus on all the Glendas in your life and all the munchkins in your life because they're there, but they're just hiding and they ain't coming out till you get going, till you step on the path. Remember when she started walking in that movie and the yellow brick road started out as a tiny bit of yellow? Just the, the slightest bit. That's how it starts for you. All it takes is that one recognition of the slight, slightest sliver of possibility to get moving. And staying on it takes a lot of things. And she got all those things with the people she met. So she starts out and she starts walking, right? She does the yellow brick road and it goes in circles. Because when you start in the beginning sometimes, it feels like you're not getting anywhere. And then pretty soon you just keep walking and walking and walking and wham! You run into the scarecrow. 